station. Thank you. You'll travel by ship, first class to New York. From New York to Hollywood by train. And then you'll have a screen test at MGM Studios. Naturally, all expenses are paid as part of this MGM promotion. So you better go back to... Pozzoli. Pozzoli. Okay, you get yourself ready to go on Saturday? Oh, Saturday, Sunday, any day. Then I suggest you get started. Thank you. And good luck to you. should have gone to Naples. I thought you not to. But I had to, Papa. And I won. It wasn't easy. There were so many girls. So you were one of many girls. I was the girl. Don't you see? See what? Did you want to go off with these, these foreigners and lose everything you ever had? What do I have? You're not going. Look what happened to Rudolf Valentino. Huh. He died. So what? He didn't just die. He was killed. Murdered. Who murdered him? The Black Hand. And if you go to America, they'll be after you. Why would the Black Hand want to kill me? I'm just a poor girl from Italy. Alfonso Prita Garbo would die the Black Hand. They'd be jealous of you. Ask anyone what they need to Valentino. Just ask anyone. Bermuda, you back. How did it go? I won. So, what's wrong? They won't let me go to Hollywood. Why? Because it's ridiculous, like all her crazy ideas. Oh, you will never understand. Never. chance of a lifetime. Don't deprive her of that. She could be the new Greta Garbo. Now, we think that she has real talent, and she certainly has looks. Looks, looks. Life is not looks. I know you're worried about her, but I guarantee you, she'll be well protected. By you? <laughs> no. We'll arrange for chaperones. A maid, a hairdresser, everything. A maid, a hairdresser is not everything. No, Mama. Go back where you come from. Leave my daughter alone. Why don't you want your daughter to go to America, Mrs. Villani? She doesn't have a fur coat. It's warm in Hollywood. She needs a fur coat. We'll buy her a fur coat. The Villanis don't accept charity. Mrs. Villani, you're throwing your daughter's life away. Romilda is not going to Hollywood. You're old enough to make your own decision. Come with me. Faro, Faro, Faro. 
Contest. Just show them my face. I bet you did more than that. I've heard about those movie people. I suppose you're too good for me now that you've become a big star. Oh, cut it out! You stand in the moonlight much longer and you'll go insane, Romilda. That's an old wives' tale. I believe it. Look at what happened to Anna. She was crazy before she went to sleep in the moonlight. <laughs> You're up to something. What is it? Can you keep a secret? Don't I always? I'm going to Rome. I'm going to be an actress. Oh, no, Romilda, don't. Mama and Papa would never. They wouldn't mind if I'd go to Rome. They'll get used to it. They'll never get used to it. They'll have to. I was born for better things than Pozzuoli. Come with me, Dora. Oh, no, I couldn't. There is a big movie studio there. We could get jobs as extras. I've read all about it in the magazines. What about your job? I played my last note on that broken down piano in that broken down cafe. I'm going to be a movie actress. Romilda, that doesn't happen to girls like us. Well, it can. Romilda Villani. It's a beautiful name. You live in Rome? I've been here for a week. I come from Pozzuoli. Pozzuoli? Mm -hmm. ah. What brings you to Rome? I want to be in movies. I'm an actress. Ah. Makes sense. You, uh, you look like a movie star. Well, I won a Greta Garbo contest. Ah. <laughs> That's exactly who you look like. Only, see, si. what do you think we need for a picnic? A picnic? I want to take you to the park for a picnic. You assume? Forgive me, I assume. So you came to Rome to be an actress? Yes. Well, here I am. <laughs> I mean, we met in the market. But you don't know me, but there's probably a lot more I can do for you than take you on a picnic. I have several friends in the film business. Really? Oh, yes, yes. You're the most beautiful girl I've seen in a long time. No doubt if I introduce you to some of my friends, they feel the same way. <laughs> We'd probably never see each other again. Well, that'd be my loss, not yours. October the 24th was a festive day in the nation's capital. As Il Duce returned to celebrate the 11th anniversary of the March on Rome, An impressive array of local militia and army units marched past the Colosseum in honor of the occasion. As King Vittorio Emanuele joined Il Duce on the reviewing stand, the fleet of Italy's newly developed twin engine bombers flew overhead. You missed Mickey Mouse. Later that day. Well, I might have missed Mickey Mouse, but that's an important business to take care of. I think I have something for you. 
Bravo, Duce. Have a child, help the country. Pretty soon he's going to have all of Italy in bed. Rome was host to one of society's most gala events, the International Horse Show. Celebrities and royalty from 14 countries assembled to attend the clinic. No, not in public. There's a sense of patriotism. In Rome, everything is public. Not in Pozzuoli. Because you forget Pozzuoli. In Rome, do as the Romans do. <laughs> I've never seen a shop like that. Yes, the lady makes them all herself. She's an artist. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Why are you whispering? The landlady. I don't know what's happening to everyone if it's not Il Dulce. It's the landlady. Does anyone believe in any fun anymore? Shh. What? She's very strict. Besides, I haven't paid her for a week. Well, Milda, relax. It's we who make the rules. My money's running out. So is everyone. Dora sends me all she can. But I have to start paying her back. Who's Dora? My sister. Oh, you don't have to pay sisters back. I do. You're crazy. I hate to ask you, but uh, you really think you'll be able to find me work in movies? Sure, sure, sure. Soon. That's your favorite day of the week. Soon. Yeah. There's always something to be said for right now. No. 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 <laughs> oh, yes, 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 Ricardo. Mm. Mr. Michetti. Yes? They told me I'd signed you on stage nine. So? Riccardo Ciccolone sent me. Riccardo Ciccolone? Riccardo Ciccolone, do I know him? I think you went hunting with him last summer. Ah, with him and I don't know how many others. What can I do for you? I am an actress. He said maybe you could help me. I'm afraid I'm not your man. The script isn't ready for casting yet. Sorry. Romir Davilani, a friend of Ricardo's. My son. Could I come in, please? I need to talk to him. He knows me. Really? I think you could have some tea, Mama. Hmm? Tea? Yes, yes, tea. Come in, come in. Some tea. I uh, had to go to Milan. Why didn't you call me? Uh, some business came up. That's why I wasn't able to. I hope I didn't upset you coming here. No, 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 no. But there is something very important I have to tell you. Of course. <laughs> We'll go outside to the garden, come. 
tea, Mama. You know, these plants are from everywhere in the world. Aracaria felix. Pladicidum grandiflorum. Cocos rodeliana. That's from Brazil. My father planted all of that. He was... It's beautiful. I'm a botanist. My Ricardo. He knew all the scientific names before he was ten. So, what did you want to tell me, huh? I'm pregnant with our child. <clears throat> Mama, will you go get the tea? <sighs> you sure? Yes. I've seen the doctor. Just have to get rid of it. Get rid of our baby. Ricardo. You said you loved me. Romilda, I love you more than anything in the world, but you, you, no. Not not some screaming brat. You have no heart, Ricardo. Don't tell me I don't have a heart. If I didn't have a heart, I wouldn't be in this mess. How do I know it's my baby? What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Who else could it be? Huh? I don't know, Romilda. You tell me. You I've tell never me. been with anyone but you. Never. Understand? Huh? Mama, let's forget about the tea. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing coming here like this. I told you I wouldn't marry when you talk to me about having a baby. I don't want babies, remember. There are enough screaming babies out here in the streets. Haven't I made that clear enough? Now, what do I have to do? Shout it from the rooftops? What? You don't have to shout at me. fault, you shouldn't have let it happen. It's only my fault. Hmm. I'll tell you what. If you have the baby, you don't have me. to have our baby. Then as far as I'm concerned, we're finished. Have you chosen a name for her yet? Sophia. Sophia. Sophia is a pretty name, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Father known or unknown? No. Does he admit paternity? I doubt he ever will. Illegitimate. Our orphanage can find a nice home where she'll be brought up properly. I'll take care of Sophia. That's easy to say when you're here. Out there's a different story. Sophia's my daughter. She stays with me. Do you have family? In Botswana. Will they take you in?
I knew you'd come. Come and see little Sophia. You wouldn't believe how beautiful she is. Look at her. <laughs> she has your eyes. And my name. I got it notarized. She's Sofia Chicolone. It's official. Sofia Chicolone. Oh, my God. See? Not such a bad person. You just take your time showing it. <laughs> I just thought I owed you and a baby a piece of paper, that's all. It wasn't even married. Could never be a family of mine, you know that. continue the way we always are. You came to deliver a piece of paper. All right, you delivered it. Now get out. Here, Sophia. Here, Sophia. Get in Sophia. Good, Sophia. Some paper money in the plate. Hmm? See? It helps. You see. Now I'll play something you like, okay? Hey. What 
the hell are you playing? Something soft is good for a change. It's not good for business. When they listen, they don't drink. Keep the keys rolling, Greta Garbo. I must be crazy. Sneaking up to Rome every time I get the bus fare. Why do I do it? Because I'm irresistible. You're a rat. Mm. Where do you see the apartment I have for us? It's near the Piazza Navona. Do you like your omelette? It's delicious. That's what I thought you would say. <laughs> Ricardo. Mm. I wish you would come to Pazzuola and see Sofia. She's a wonderful little girl. Won't upset your life. No. Taking up all your time, always in the way. Screaming. She needs a real father. She has a real father. What are you worried about? Oh. It wouldn't work. Even my mother says so. Your mother? Yeah. Always your mother. What? I'm surprised you didn't bring her along with you. Oh, well, <laughs> she makes lousy omelets, huh? <laughs> Why am I getting dressed up? Because in a little while you are going to meet your father. I see Papa every day. But Sophia, that's not your real father. Papa is your grandfather. Sophia, go show your ribbons to Grandma. You're just going to confuse her, or worse. You should have never had him come. No, I know what I'm doing. What about Mama? She can stay in the kitchen. Romilda, is this him? Maybe it's him. He's a good-looking man. The devil always wears his best clothes. Sophia. Sophia. Sophia is very sick. Oh, she's much better now. She's already up and around. Come. Sophia. Is Romilda here? She'll be right out. Uh, Romilda!
Sophia, sweetheart, this is your father. Your real father. No. What's your present? I don't want it. Take it. Soldiers everywhere. Yeah. I will find a seat. Coming down from Rome is even worse. falling apart. So? We'll have a war, huh? Ricardo, don't you think badly of Sofia? You know how children are, huh? They're always shy with strangers. I know. Don't do me a favor, huh? No more of these funny telegrams about sick kids. Okay? Mm -hmm. I couldn't come to see you in Rome. But I have something to tell you. What? I'm pregnant again. Won't you ever learn? But we both made it happen. Look, if you're trying to trap me into marrying you, it didn't work the first time. It's not going to work now. Georgie? Yes. Rosa Dinoni? Yes. Sofia Ciccoloni? That's not her name. She doesn't have a name. She doesn't have a father either. <laughs> Neither does a sister. <laughs> My name is Sofia Ciccoloni. have to fight if you want them to stop. You have a father. And you can be proud of his name. You're so skinny. You don't eat enough. Like a toothpick. We'll fix that. You'll see. The mind rules the body. to think about something for her. Who 
all day, Mama. German soldiers. Where are they here? Well, Mussolini sent them to protect us from the Americans. Why? Because of the war. Will the war come here? Oh, I don't think so. They don't care about people like us. What do they care about? Big cities, important people. What are important people? People with money. Guido, the Germans are taking men for the labor camp. Cousin Francesca? Who are you? Luisa. Luisa Villani from Pazzuoli. Ah. Are you all Villanis? We were forced out. And you are the only relatives. It's much worse here in Naples than in Pozzuoli. Come on. You'll have to find yourselves a place to sleep on the floor. That's all I can give you. We're much too crowded as it is. Understand? It's all we need. Thank you, Francesca. You. Come with me. Come, sir. Okay. 
okay, it's okay. Look, look at Yulia. She's sleeping right now. Listen, could you spare some bread? I have two daughters. I promise it's not for myself. I won't do that, really. I have my own children to feed. Oh, I'll pay you back. Take my sweater. Here, it's warm. Keep your sweater and leave me alone. You see, you've got children. If they are hungry, put yourself in my place. Huh? You want me to beg for you? All right, I'll beg for you. Don't. God bless you. Kid, put some meat on those bones. Come on, it's from your Uncle Sam. Go take it, Sophia. Take it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. dream has been over for a long time. Great to see you looking swell, baby. Diamond bracelets, world worth doesn't sell, baby. Till the lucky day, you know darn well, baby. I can give you anything but love.
I see, so you tend to more uh, special needs, huh? What do you mean? I play and I sing and I dance. That's all. I don't want my daughter in there. So now she's your daughter. As long as you don't have to take care of her. Scrunch for food when it's any. Your daughter. You rotten business. I'm sorry. I always do the wrong things. I know I haven't any claims on you. No, you haven't. Why did you come back here? Because I wanted to see you. Now, there are things I have to say now. Go on. You and Sophia weren't the only ones who suffered in this war. And I went underground. Up north. But there was a woman who took me in. She saved my life. So? So I married her. Don't worry, I won't do anything to embarrass you. It's not that. Uh, I just once. I wanted to be honest with you. You've been honest, Ricardo. Goodbye. to your mother. Why can't I go? Shut up. Don't you raise your voice to us. And Dora, you'll come to the movies with me, won't you? Oh, not to see blood and sand again. You've seen it four times. So we see it five times. I'll do you lonely for a week. Sophia. 
Hello, Mr. Gennaro. <laughs> I've heard you're quite the moviegoer. Have you seen Blood and Sand yet? No. They say it's very good. I thought perhaps if this Saturday afternoon, if you weren't... Sophia! Over there, our gym teacher from school. Very nice and clean. He's really a good instructor. And he wants to ask you if I can go to the movies with him Saturday afternoon. Finish the shopping, Dora. We're leaving. Has he ever touched you in class? Even your arm? Never, Mama. Honest. Men wreck lives, Sophia. Sophia. Men only want one thing. They'll do anything to get it, then disappear. But you and I, we have plans, don't we? You are going to do something with your life, not throw it away on a man. I want to be a good teacher someday. That's all I really want, Mama. No. I have sacrificed everything for you to turn into a school teacher, huh? Now, so far, things have gone just the way I planned. The skinny little girl has become a beautiful young woman. And this time, this beautiful young woman is not going to be stuck in Pozzuoli. Understand? Yes. Listen. Five princesses will be chosen. The girl elected Queen of the Sea will receive a host of prizes. We don't need prizes. And they are organizing a big parade to follow the ceremonies. We don't need parades. It might be just what we're looking for, for Sophia. Display herself in front of strangers. You find better than that, or Sophia. Like you did for me? You threw my life away. I tried to protect you. From having anything at all. From having a career. Well, it worked. Mama, if you try to stop me this time, I'll never forgive you. Can't we just forget it? I don't want to go. Why? Look at this dress. It's too short. I want to make it longer. Huh? Terrible. What? Longer is okay. It'll take us most of the night, but we'll be ready for tomorrow, and it'll be perfect. I bet it'll be a real knockout. I think you look good. Once you're out there, the shyness will go away. That's easy for you to say. Besides, I don't have any white shoes, and I can wear black with this. I will paint them white. Uh, paint them? No one will ever notice. 